today's video, I'm going to quickly show you how to fix a USB cable that has been cut. In my case, my rabbit decided to bite the wire of my USB mouse and that's what I'm fixing here today. Once you have your two pieces of the wire, you need to strip off some of the black piece, the covering that surrounds the four inner wires. Once you have those four inner wires exposed, what people usually do is just strip off the ends of it and then join it together right at that little point. But when you finish it and wrap it all up, you end up with a big bulge and it's kind of messy and it's not as neat as it could be. What I do is I take my wire, I cut the wires, the individual wires. Sometimes there are four wires, sometimes there are five. I cut them to separate different lengths and then I strip the wires and join them together. So that makes each connection be at a different point so that they don't touch each other. And then when I cover it all up with tape or uh, tubing, it's, it's kind of neat and you don't even notice that there was a join there. So there's no big bulge or anything like that. That's pretty much the basis of this whole operation. I'll show you how I did it with this wire right here. At this point, if you don't have a soldering iron, that's totally fine. I have one, so that's what I'm gonna be using to join up my wires. But if you don't have one, you can actually just wrap these wires together and then tape them up and you'll be fine. It'll be less neater than if you did it with a soldering iron, but that's totally okay if you just want your mouse to work again. So I have four connections at four different spots of this long join and the fifth one is right here but there's no need to wrap it because the other four are already wrapped and there's nothing for this to touch so it's time to wrap this whole thing up. As you can see the heat, the heat shrink wrap tubing goes from here to here. It's The join is from here to about here but I just put a little extra just in case. So now this whole thing just needs to get heated up with a lighter and all the tubing will uh, shrink. So this is how the tube looks before I heat it up. 